Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hey, guys. It is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun, too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino-style games to choose from, with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere, and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's really, it's really good. You sort of see her get really lost in it, you know, in the middle of it. She gets really caught up in it and... I think it's really important that the audience still sees that she is still fighting for what she thinks is right and what she thinks is good, which is, yeah, just to be kind to one another and a bit more compassionate because ultimately all of the characters are going through some hard stuff or some challenging stuff. And I think she kind of gives us a bit of a insight into, hey, let's just be a bit more forgiving and a bit more friendly. And high school could actually be a really fun place if you want it to be. You're listening to the Theatre Thoughts Podcast. My name's Justin, or you can call me Stin, and welcome to all of our new and returning listeners. The Theatre Thoughts Podcast is your one stop for all of the exclusive interviews and chats from professionals in the theatre industry, as well as roundtable conversations between myself and the Theatre Thoughts team on live entertainment. On today's show, we sit down with NIDA graduate Tegan Danina, who is playing Veronica in Heather's The Musical, coming to the ARA Darling Quarter Theatre in February. Tegan runs us through why Heather has such a strong cult following and why this production will stand out from the rest. So get ready to switch on those thoughts as you listen to this episode of the Theatre Thoughts Podcast. Tegan, welcome to the Theatre Thoughts Podcast. We are so excited to have you on today to talk about Heather's Musical, one of the most popular theatre shows in the world, I'd say. Ooh, yay. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Tegan Dene, you got training at NIDA. You did a diploma of musical theatre. Um, you also went to VCA, did your Bachelor of Fine Arts with musical theatre as well. And you're part of the Australian Girls Choir, I believe. I did. Wow. You know everything. That's so impressive. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much my my gist. I sort of grew up loving music and musicals. I would watch The Sound of Music like every, every chance I got, um, but I didn't really take it seriously or get fully into it or even think about it as a career choice until my teenage years. And that's when I was in the Australian Girls Choir and I was doing performances with them and went on tour internationally with them. And I sort of was just, I just fell, fell in love with it. And I wanted to do it more and more and more. And I mean, I guess it's just a passion that you that you follow, uh, which is why I then went on to, to NIDA following high school and then moved down to Melbourne and yeah, did VCA down there for three years. And now I'm back and doing Heathers, which is Excellent. super duper exciting. That's so exciting. I love, I mean, Heather's is one of these musicals that has this really, really weird cult following to it. Right. You know, kind of, there's all these new musicals coming out. I know Be More Chill has a really weird cult following to it. Heather's has a cult following to it. Could you introduce, who are you playing in the musical? Could you tell us a bit about the character? So I play Veronica Sawyer, who actually isn't a Heather per se, but is a wannabe Heather. She kind of becomes a bit of a Heather. And Veronica is sort of who the story follows. And she is the one who kind of connects directly to the audience. And she starts out as this invisible girl who's just trying to get through through high school and sort of sometimes has a bit of a hard time and she gets in with the Heathers which is super duper exciting and you kind of see a real shift in her attitude and her I guess behavior um, and you watch her try to navigate that because ultimately Veronica is the I guess you'd say the good 
in the story. She mm. is the one who sees the, you know, the positivity and she's the compassion and she's what fights for, for what's right. She fights for what she believes to be true and to be good. And she kind of gets sucked up by the Heathers and also JD, who's a bit dark and mysterious. And she kind of goes down a bit of a dangerous path. And I think it's, you watch her navigate all of that. And at the end of the day, she she still comes back and fights for what's right and stays true to herself. And ultimately has a positive impact on everyone else and says, hey, we shouldn't be doing this. We shouldn't be behaving like this. Like, just be kind to one another. That's what's most important, really. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Veronica. <laughs> So I think Veronica, um, she's quite an interesting character because you're right, she does start off as um, like this kind of shy, innocent girl yeah. and then she gets caught up in the Heathers and then the end of the musical without like giving anything away, but she does have <laughs> this moment of um, hope and, and you're right, it's like this really nice message that comes from it, like just be kind to one another, it's not that hard. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, it's really, it's really good. You sort of see her get really lost in it, you know, in the middle of it. She gets really caught up in it and... I think it's really important that the audience still sees that she is still fighting for what she thinks is right and what she thinks is good, which is, yeah, just to be kind to one another and a bit more compassionate because ultimately all of the characters are going through some hard stuff or some challenging stuff. And I think she kind of gives us a bit of a insight into, hey, let's just be a bit more forgiving and a bit more friendly. And high school could actually be a really fun place if you want it to be. Yeah, and that's right. And so many, it's really prevalent for a lot of kids today to kind of remind themselves of that message, which is kind of like the underscore of, well, what the underlying message of Heather's like on top of all the madness that goes on. Yeah, absolutely. And I also think that's why audience is so like they're so drawn to it because the story in one way or another is really relatable. It's about that high school experience, that teenage experience and whether you were a Heather and you were an untouchable sort of popular kid or whether you were a bit of a Veronica who was a bit like in the middle, not sure what they want, you know, the audience can connect to the stories and what the characters are going through. And I think that's why audiences just love it because, you know, one of the, the main sort of popular songs from the show is called 17. Hello, it is Ryan and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on chumbacasino.com. I looked over over the person sitting next to me and you know what they were doing they were also playing chumba casino coincidence i think not everybody's loving having fun with it chumba casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime anywhere even at thirty thousand feet so sign up now at chumbacasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus that's chumbacasino.com and live the chumba life no purchase necessary btw void were prohibited by law see terms and conditions 18 plus it is ryan here and i have a question for you what do you do when you win like, are you a fist pumper, a woo a hand clapper, a high-fiver? I kind of like the high-five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At ChumbaCasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino-style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses, so don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. And that's ultimately it. Like, these kids in this story, they're just 17 years years old you know they're just teenagers and we were all 17 at one point we were all in high school and at one point and whether we had a good experience or a bad experience whether we loved it or hated it or whatever you can see that up there on the stage and you see these kids or these characters in this story try and navigate it all and just get through makes this production different to others because obviously the west end it keeps coming back to the west end it's very popular all my friends over there like just rave about it and it, it was in australia a, a few years ago um obviously you have a lot of community theater groups who love heathers and they do heathers so what makes this production kind of different to those that came before it yeah well we are doing the west end version of it so it originally, oh, lovely. yeah so it was originally on broadway and then they did a bit of a rewrite a bit of a shuffle fixing some things up and added in some new songs which is super 
exciting. So the version that the Mitchell Odd Company is putting on in 2022 has never been seen really by Australian audiences because it's the UK version. It's the it's the new version of it, which is super duper exciting. And I think what makes our production exciting or different is that we've got an incredible young production company, the Mitchell Old Company, and an incredible cast of beautiful, beautiful humans. And ultimately, we're putting on a story that people are going to want to see because we've been locked in our homes and sitting there <laughs> watching the screen for months and months on end. So getting into the theatre and seeing this production and where we're performing at the ARA Theatre in Darling Quarter, the audience is actually quite close to the stage. The bottom row, the front row, is actually on the same level as us on the stage. So it's quite an immersive and involved experience. You're kind of watching the story right there. So you kind right. of feel like you, maybe you're one of the high school kids as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 excellent. You just turn up a new uniform, just come on in. Yeah, just wear like a, a red, yellow or green, pick your heather and on yep. you come. <laughs> that's, a, that's excellent. I'd like that more theatres in Australia are becoming more, I guess, small rather than the big ones. Um, I know the the Royal with the new refurbishment there, that's quite intimate as well. And I've never, I haven't been to this new one in um, in Darling Court yet. So I'm really quite excited to see how intimate it is. So for shows like Heather's, it works so well because you want to be up there in the story. You want to be involved in it. Yeah, absolutely. You want to sort of feel like you're in the world. And I think that having Veronica, you know, break that fourth wall and communicate directly to the audience, having the audience right there is going to be so amazing because you can, just connect with them immediately you don't have to feel like you're reaching across a thousand meters is just to reach the people uh it's really exciting to have yeah the audience be right there with you which is fantastic now heather's is obviously based on the movie with winona Ryder in it why do you think what well why do you think heather's the musical has such this has such a cult following to it? and i know you, you kind of touched on it already but what's like what's the key ingredient do you think that makes this a cult musical that's such a great question i think there's the the big fan base over in the uk i think they call themselves the corn nuts i think that's right. oh, okay from the show yeah it's so cute the corn nuts i think but the film sort of came out at a time i guess where it kind of was a bit turbulent and high school was a bit kind of don't really know how else to describe it other than say messed up you know yeah. it was the weird <laughs> and troubling experience and traumatic in a way and i think that audiences watching that movie and even watching the show now like i said before they can find a piece of the story that they can relate to you know i hope I would hope that they don't really relate to, you know, the dark stuff. Yeah, you kind of hope not JD. JD's like, no, no don't be him. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, they could they could relate to the thing about eating lunch on your own in the cafeteria or wanting to be a Heather or, you know, Veronica writes in her diary a lot and that's sort of the, the monologues that she gives to the audience. You know, maybe you kept your thoughts in a diary. Maybe high school was just an absolute disaster. You know, maybe you were a Martha and you were at a party and you're like oh my gosh I can't believe I'm here you know I'm giving away a lot of clues about the story <laughs> in the show. I think that if you were to watch the watch the musical and see the musical you'd be like oh yeah I felt like that at one point or yeah man I wish that I just was 17 and I let myself just be a kid or I wish I was nice or I wish I was friends with everybody you know things like that and I think that yes there's some dark content and dark sort of themes that we definitely delve into and are definitely very sensitive. I think it is kind of masked as well with these bright and fun and catchy songs and dances mm. that audience are like, oh, wow, this is incredible. Yeah. This is so <laughs> You get fun. so involved in it, don't you? Exactly. I kind of forgive you for the bad thing that you just did because this song's great, you know, yeah. I want to be <laughs> Um, but I think it's definitely got that balance of fun, colour, you know, music theatre kind of world and an incredible dark story underneath that really sort of pulls you along. And I also think that one of the great things about Heather's is that it's not necessarily your typical fit in a box music theatre, you know, the shows that you see. It's, it's a show that people who aren't huge music theatre fans can come and see and still get enjoyment out of it and still mm. connect to and really I sort of get something out of that story or that performance and walk away thinking wow that was such a great night I'm so glad that I came and saw this you know I think that that is one of the incredible things about this show in particular <laughs>
So I'll give you one last question. This is more of a, a theatre thoughts question. So Heather's uh, adapted from the film. Is there a favourite film to musical show that you have? Ooh, such a great question. To be honest, for me, I can't go past The Lion King. Mm. It's so incredible. Elton John and Tim Rice, like, can it get any better? I honestly don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> it is a, it's a great film, the, the animation and everything. And I watched that so much as a child. I absolutely loved it. But the musical itself, like the stage show, has such a special place in my heart because it was the first musical I ever saw as, as, right. a, as a kid. It's the first memory that I have of being in a theatre and watching a show and being like, wow, like this is incredible. Like imagine doing that. That mm. looks like real fun. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the, you know, the circle of life and that whole sequence and the animals coming down the aisle and just the magnitude of the show and what you're watching. It's so much to take in. It's absolutely incredible. And I think I've probably got a lasting memory of that in my mind because I was sitting in a place in the audience where the hyenas came and like got right in your face. Oh, <laughs> excellent. So I've probably got this like traumatic memory of a hyena coming up to me and that's just stuck with yeah. me. But <laughs> the Lion King is uh, is my top pick, I think. I think one of my, going off like what you said about memories, one of my first memories of musical theatre is Beauty and the Beast. Um, it would have been way back when Bert Newton was uh, Cogsworth, like that far back. Because wow. um, I, I, just like you talking about the memory you have, I remember having this memory of sitting, um, it must have been like one of the old theatres, like a Majesty's Theatre or something in Sydney and, and watching Beauty and Beast. I think that was my first experience of musical theatre as a kid. So you never forget that. That will stay with you forever. Just like the first show that you ever perform in or, you know, Heather's I'm sure will have a special place in my heart. Same with the Mitchell Old Company, like that all of it will just sort of, you hold on to these beautiful special memories because they mean so much, especially being in the arts and being in the industry and the time that we're in at the moment, just shows and performances and being involved, even just being in a rehearsal room, it's just something that we're so grateful for at the moment and I'm just lucky to be doing. Yeah, definitely agree. Definitely agree with you. So fingers crossed that keeps going like that. <laughs> and we're so excited, obviously, to come and see it. So it plays from the 8th of February to the 5th of March at the ARA Darling Quarter in Darling Harbour in Sydney. Tickets are available at ticketech.com.au. Thank you so much. It's an absolute pleasure. I'm very excited. That's all the time we have left here on the Theatre Thoughts Podcast. Don't forget that all the information from today's show can be found on our website, theatrethoughtsoz.online. If you like today's show, spread the word and tell two of your friends, just two, about the Theatre Thoughts Podcast and help us spread our thoughts around the world. Until next time, stay safe, keep those thoughts rolling, and we'll be back with more exclusive chats and interviews here on the Theatre Thoughts Podcast. Have you ever wondered how your favorite performer actually feels? Well, here's your chance. Welcome to The Quiet Part Out Loud with me, Bobby Steggert, Broadway actor and now a therapist to a whole host of Broadway creatives. Part interview, part therapy, this is not your typical podcast. We'll go right to the heart of things with some of your favorite artists, what they still struggle with, what lessons they've learned, what they haven't figured out yet. There's enormous power in saying the quiet part out loud. Are you listening? Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.